Right, hi lads and lasses, welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today what we're going to be looking at is darts apps. So there's one or two that I use. All I'm going to tell you about is the, the ones that I use because I can speak with a little bit of authority on it. Rather than me just having a cursory five minute look at five or six different darts apps and try to give an opinion on something that I don't really know about, I'd rather talk to you about the ones that I do actually know about, the ones that I use myself. So, the first one of those is probably one of the biggest darts apps in the world. It's used by the PDC, and that is Darts Connect. So, Darts Connect is a website. So, what you do is you go onto Google, type in Dart Connect or Darts Connect. You'll find the website. You go to the website. You sign up, right? So, there's a free trial there, so you can try it for free if you want. And then it's something like about £25 a year. £25 a year might sound a lot of money to some people, but it's like three rounds of drinks. So it's not a massive amount of money. Or maybe, depending on if this thing of the three of you having a drink, it's two rounds of drinks. But you get what I mean, it's not a massive amount of money. A lot of people will spend 50, 60, 70 pounds a month on Sky Telly. So £25 a year is not that much. And the great thing about it is it does everything for you. It's a little bit complicated to get used to, not complicated as in it takes ages and ages, it's just there's lots of facets to it, there's, there's a lot more to it than you think when you, you can just go on and literally just use it as a dart scorer and that is as simple as anything, but you can also take part in tournaments on it, you can play people from across the world, it's got a video side to it so you can, when you go onto the actual app itself you can you can choose either just playing via Darts Connect, you can play online. When you play online, you can use DCTV, so Dart Connect Television. And what that does is it gives you a code, which is dead, dead simple. All you do is you generate the code if you set the match up. Whoever you're playing, wherever they are in the world, they think you send them the code. Normally what I do is I either do it on WhatsApp or I do it on Messenger. It's dead, dead simple. You send them the code, they type the code in, and the dart scorer comes up and the actual lightning speed with which it works is fantastic because it's i play a lot of the time with a chap in america called graham taylor who's dragon fire darts and i when we play it's instantaneous we're talking to each other and the scores are coming in at the same time so it's not like you type in your scoring like you sometimes have to do on knackers and then wait for 10 seconds for it to get from here to the other side of the world it's literally instantaneous it's just phenomenal how that works the amount of distance that it goes across so that's darts connect and what we'll do is we'll go to the bench and we'll have a look at darts connect and we'll do that right now so let's get over and have a look at that now right so here we are we're over at the bench now and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at dc tv so what we'll do is fetch it up here these are all my my apps there we go darts connect so we've got darts connect there so all we do is just tap on darts connect Right, so all you do is watch, you just scroll down to the bottom, so when you're on their website, this is their website, but it's my, this is my page. Right, so you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and it says there, scoring app, as you can see. You tap on scoring app, and it comes up. As you can see there, you've got Welcome Dave Llewellyn, so Dynamite Dave, and you've got Play, Leagues and Groups, so on there obviously is the Dynamite Dave um winter and summer league seasons tournaments you can go in and search the tournament so you can click on that and you can search to see where tony o'shea or any of the others are playing so i don't matter who it is phil telly does the senior tour everything there's also like i say it's a much more in-depth thing this than it than you'd actually imagine because you can sign not sign up but you just click on your players, so if you go on DC and you type in, say your favourite player is Michael Van Gerwen, tap onto it, get Michael Van Gerwen on it, and you can actually follow him. And then when you follow him, right, you could it'll send you an email when he's playing. So even if you're not at home and you can't watch it on the TV, you can still follow it on Darts Connect. So this app is just mind-blowing, the actual things that it does. So then we've got... Uh, all matches saved so that I can go to there and I can look at all the matches that I've ever played and scroll through them or I can play online. You'll, I suggest that you'll probably use this most of the time playing online so what we'll do is we'll click that and as you can see there it says 
using scoring app only. So that means you can set a game up. So say you're playing your mate from down the road and you've got it, you, you're talking to him on WhatsApp because you can set it up that way if you want. To be honest with you, most of the time when I do it with Graham Taylor, we use Zoom for the actual video bit. So when we're talking to each other, we're on Zoom. And when we're playing, we actually play using just the scoring app. Two of your mates are playing. So uh, Sam and Bill are having a game and Dave wants to watch it. All he does is gets in touch with Sam or Bill, whoever it is who set the game up, and they can generate a video connect uh, code for you. So then you can actually watch their game live. So you'll have your tablet open as if you were playing a match on the tablet, but it won't be your scores going in. It'll be their names at the top, and every time they enter a score, you'll be able to see that. So you'll be able to see the progression of the match. And then we've got scoring app and VC. So say you and your mate are playing, you can use the scoring app and VC, and it splits the screen. So one half of the screen is the scoring app, which is this side, and the other half of the screen, that side, is your opponent's dartboard. So, like I say, it sounds like a lot to take in, but you very, very quickly get used to it. So what we'll do is we'll go use scoring app only, right? And then we've got all the things. So I'm going to use my scoring app only. So this then goes off a little bit of trust. So you can go on to the global match lobby. So that means if I hit that, I can look for anybody in the world who's at my sort of like ranking. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can play people that are running at 100 average or you can play people that are running at 30 average. Or you can play someone that's slightly better than you and that obviously fetches you on. And then we've got the general bit of it, which is host a match or join a match. So if I'm the lead player, then what I'll do is I'll host the match. It comes up and it says there, quick 501 challenge bar cricket, Chicago choice. So obviously if we're playing, what we'll do is we'll play a quick 501. Right, that's the code. So whoever, I'm, whoever I would be playing, I give them that code over the phone, over WhatsApp or whatever, but they've got to get that code. You can send it in via email. As you can see there, it says email the code. So it'll actually email the code to whoever you want to email it to, if that's the way you want to do it. And then you've got here, disconnect component, DCTV watch code. So if, say, there's five of you in a lobby and there's two of you playing, the other three can use the watch code to watch your game as it goes live and watch you playing. Then obviously you've got generate code, so you've got to generate that code, and then you've got continue. So we'll continue. Here's my little um, setup player lobby. I've got a massive player lobby, but obviously what I've done is I've took a small snapshot of that those players. And we've got a few players on here. So say I'm I'm hosting, so Dynamite Dave will be home. And let's just take one for Grant. Well, we'll use Graham because I know he won't mind. So then we've got Graham. We've got Dave Llewellyn and Graham. So Dynamite Dave and Dragonfire playing each other. See there, you can add more players if you want to your library. Just add more players. Like I say, it's very in-depth, but it's quite easy to follow once you get used to it. And then what you can do is you can go to Bull Up. Then what you do is you cho choose how many legs you're playing. So let's say we're going to play, leave it where it is, best of three. Because we won't actually be playing it. And there, as you can see, it comes up. Dave Llewellyn, Graham Taylor. Now, if I turned me, me um, tablet and stood it up, it then goes to a big screen. So you, the whole of the tablet becomes the scorer. And when you do, it comes up. You'll see in a second anyway. I'll leave it this way because you'll still be able to see it because I'll zoom in on it. But there we go. We'll say a random right. start. So we've got it now in the long format. So you can see that hopefully a lot better. Yeah, you can see that. That's the long format and it's a much easier to see. It's much bigger and you can see it a lot better. Right, so random start. There we go. Look how big that is now. So you've got Dynamite Dave, Graham Taylor, Dynamite Dave to kick off. And down here, you've got all your pop popular scores. So bed and breakfast, 26, 40, 41, 43, 45, 60, 81 and 85. And then up here, you've got ton, ton 40, 180. So those, you can hit, so... Say I say I smack in a ton, you just press that button there, look, and it just comes off instantly. Right, so then obviously say Graham Taylor it's a 140. 
he goes down to 361 and then say I A an 80 83 right so it's 8 3 enter simple as that and look at that how fast and how how well it is see this is coming up you've got a warning coming up here because we're not actually connected over the internet which is what we've selected so basically it's expecting me then to put both scores in because I set the game up but absolutely brilliant so that's darts connect and it does all your does all your performance and everything it's just absolutely unreal this the amount of information that you get from it is just absolutely great right so that's darts connect right so let's go over into section three now and we'll have a look at dart scoreboard by andy bandit right so here we are over in section three and what we're going to do in section three is we're going to have a look at uh, andy pandy's dart scoreboard now this dart scorer is the one that i've used personally for or i'd say a decade now 10 years uh, and it's uh, it's one of the first ones i ever found and i just think it was it was one of them you stumble on something and it's just instantly what you want to use so this scorer is dead dead simple it's literally just a scorer on the wall it gives you all the information that you want it saves all your statistics it's got practice on it it's got normal matches on it very much like dc uh, it's got cricket it's got bob's 27 there's a few different games on it not a massive amount of games but there's a few different games on it that you can play that you can use for practice so, without further ado, let's get over to the bench and let's have a close-up look at Dart Scoreboard. Right, so here we are, back at the, the bench. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at Dart Scorer. So, Dart Scorer by Andy Pandy. Now, again, the way to get it is on Play Store. So, if you've got Play Store on your, on your tablet or your phone, all you do is just hit that. It comes up, and I'll sh actually show you this time what you're looking for. Right, so these are the dart scorers that come up on on here, and you scroll down. It depends. Don't forget because I've already got it in my tablet. What it's done is it's put it further down. Normally, it's about second or third. If you're at, it should be in here when you first go for it but because I've already got it on my thing it's wondering why I'm looking for it and this is the one that you're looking for this one here which is dart scoreboard not that one get off well look, that's the one you're looking for which is dart scoreboard by Andy Pandy right, it says open on mine because I've already got it on me on my actual tablet so what we'll do now is we'll go back and we'll open that up so that's the one you're looking for you tap on that it says download you download it it takes literally 15 seconds or 20 seconds to download not even that and it's very very small file so now what we'll do is we'll go back as you can see it's there so all we do with that is just tap on it and it opens it up right this is the long format obviously you can turn it around and it goes into a more compressed format with slightly bigger uh, numbers and what have you if you do it the other way around but we'll leave it this way for now right so what you do is when you first start this up you, you go in and you manage your players. So you go in your players and you can add new players to it. Right, see so these are the players that I've got on at the moment. You go into here and you can add new players. Delete players, add new players. So you can delete the players. If you are, oh, that's going to delete them all. You don't want to be doing that there. Definitely not. If you want to add a player, it's down here at the bottom. So if you've got a new person who you want to add on, you just tap that on. On here I've got all of the usual suspects. I've got me on it tw three times by the look of it. I've got Martin, Aldred, um, Dredge Cole, Player 1 and Player 2 and, our, and my brother. And those are the people that normally play here or in the pub with us. Obviously if I'm playing somebody I don't know, they're just either Player 1 or Player 2. Right, so let's go back off that. So then all we do is once we've set it up is we open up the app. By clicking on that we've got it on cricket at the moment so what we do is just tap the big bit where it says cricket put it onto 501 which if you look it's x01 at the bottom so you tap onto that and then it asks you how many legs so stand, standard dartboard race two so you can have sets and legs so we've got three legs one set there so basically race to three um points 501 you can change that and I'll show you some fantastic, because obviously there you can go 301, 1001, 
I think it goes up to 1501 is the highest one. Right, so that's the basic way you do that. Uh, you can go double in, double out. So you can go double in, in start. Final tiebreaker, so you can have two clear legs, if that's what you want to do. Custom points. Switch that on and I'll show you why. Right, so let's go back to this. We've got droid number eight, Dynamite Dave. Um, first to three legs. And there you, all you do is once you've got your two players in there, the droid is this little button here. So let me swipe him off. Right, so that's off, and that's how you take your players off. You just swipe them off like that. As it says there, no players selected. So you click on the little man at the top. You click on there. Um, let's come up and boom that, hasn't it? That's, oh, that was when I first set the machine up. Right, it's come up with Dynamite Dave there. So that's me. I want to play a droid. So if I'm playing 501, I typically play 501 on 12 to 14. Because once you get to 15, it's like 140 after 140 after 140, and even I'm not that good. So we've got the, there, we've got the, the droid set up and everything, so it's first to three, click start, and this is what it looks like. The great thing with this is, and I'll go through a, like a little bit of a match for you to show you towards the end. This is why I love this, I've been using this for 10 years now, and do you know something, it's only ever got better. Every time they do an update on it, it just gets better and better and better. It hasn't got the fancy stuff like Rust Braze. It's basically just a proper dart scorer, so you can put that on the wall, which I do when we go to the pub, and basically just play the game. Right, so let's let's go 180. Um, droid, see this is what happens, the droid plays, and that's actually quite a nice pace. If you wait for that droid to have finished throwing, by then you should be back round to the hockey, one breath, and, up, and then up and address the hockey again. So basically, like you were playing someone... So we'll just go the 140. Alright, that's what they've got too. Let's what have we got left? 181. So let's go 141. This leaves us double top. Right. And as you can see there, it's come up with double 20. You can see that there, it's showing you a way out. Right, now let me go back, and this is dead easy when you make a mistake. If you make a mistake after you've pressed enter, all you do is hit that little banana there. Hit the little banana again at the back, and it takes you back one. See how I've gone back to 181? Right, so let's put now that there we've hit 40. So that'll give us the out shots for 181. Look, there you go, they've come up now. Typical, isn't it? Let's wait till he's finished chucking. Right, you can see here it's got the th it's give you three different out shots. Right, so that's how that works. Dead simple as you can see. Uh, another one, if you actually hit it, one four one. Right, so we've hit the one four one. There you go. It's as simple as that, and you're on to your next leg, and he starts off. Simple as that. Now if you end a leg and you've got, let's say, you've got the one for one. Let's go down another one. So let's go down 60. Let's let him chuck. And as you can see there again, you've got three out shots for 81. Yeah, so 81 is, let's say, 317 is 51, double that, so you can do it in two. Right, so 81, and then look, it asks you for how many darts it's took you. Right, so if you go 81, all you do is it, you can put in how many darts it's took you, or you can do this. Let me see if it'll allow me to do it that way. Right, or you can do this, watch. If it's took you three darts, see how these dart, these, these squares are green, yeah, so if it's took you three darts, you press and hold it, and it goes straight back onto the next one. Because it knows that you've checked out, and it's took you three darts to do it. So it takes two steps out of it. Just makes it that little bit quicker, and a little bit simpler. There's different games on it. It's got Bob's 27 on it. It's got um, standard cricket and custom cricket. Cricket's a game I love playing. I think it's fantastic. It's, a very, it's like playing chess on a dartboard. It's a real good game. If you want to try and get into that, um, there's a couple of videos on my channel and a couple of videos on 
Dragonfire's channel to show you that. Right, so that is Dark Scoreboard by Andy Pandy. <laughs>